help understanding humans, specifically human romantic love. Usually somebody would say that they knew a little bit about human romantic love, in which case I would write a little bit more. Puppets. <laughs> <laughs> so, my problem is these humans. Two human couples, you think that, that's fine. Humans, they like to be in couples. What's the problem? Well, these two, have I got the right humans? I haven't got the right humans. See, I knew I would mix this up. This is what happens. Hermia and Lysander, they're a great couple, super happy. Oh, we're so in love, we want to get married. Doing great. These two, Helena and Demetrius, they were doing great, but oh no, Demetrius has fallen out of love with Helena. Now he's over here like, hey Hermia, how's it going? Um, I'm taken. Polyamory? No, we're monogamous, darn it. So that's not working out well for him. However, the king, who will be played by me, is like, actually, I ship Demetrius and Hermia, so they're gonna get married whether they like it or not, I'm the king, and I say so. And humans do that, apparently. I don't know, I don't understand it. But these two are like, no way! We're running off into the woods to get married in secret, bye! They're off into the fairy woods, which is totally a thing that you should do. 100% safe. Meanwhile, over here, hey, Demetrius. Yeah? If I tell you where that girl you like went, will you love me? Yeah, that's totally how this works. Cool, they ran off into the woods. Great, thanks, bye. This did not go the way I intended, wait for me. So now, we have four humans in my fairy woods the we've already got problems. There's a guy with a donkey head. There's actors running around my woods like crazy. The queen's in love with the donkey head guy. So, my boss, Oberon, you might have heard of him, king of the fairies, pretty big deal. Uh, he sees this situation going on, and he's like, you know, it'd be so much easier if just the right humans love the right humans. So, he tasks me, Puck, his right hand guy, to go and uh, enchant one of the humans with the special flower in his eyeballs so that when he wakes up, he will love the correct girl. Here's the problem. All you humans look the same. You look the same. There's a couple of white dudes walking around the woods. I just kind of have to pick, I don't know. So I find a guy. It's Lysander, it's the wrong guy. How am I supposed to know? He looks the same. I put juice on his eyeballs. Not a problem, right? He'll wake up and see his lover, no. He wakes up. Who's walking by? Helena. Oh, hey, Helena. You're looking a lot finer than before. Okay. Meanwhile, a lot of meanwhile, Demetrius is still wandering around the woods looking for a woman who doesn't love him. My boss sees this and goes, ugh, Puck has failed to put the juices on the flower, probably got distracted, I'll do it myself. Puts the juices on this guy's eyeballs. Okay, that's fine, except for who should go on her by? It's the same girl. <laughs> oh, hey, Helena. Uh, you're looking mighty fine. What is happening today? So basically, Helena here went from having zero guys to having all guys. And poor Hermia over here went from having all the guys to zero guys. And nobody's happy about it. Well, the guys are horny, but nobody's happy about it. So at this point, I would then take the players over to a puzzle where they would have to get the, the various lovers into the glade, where my boss, again, over on King of the Fairies, you probably heard of him, no big deal, uh, would then enchant them all with a magical fog so they could wake up in love with the right person. Why he didn't do that from the start, and he just went with flowers instead, I have no idea, but I don't, I'm not in charge. So that's the human situation. Yeah. <laughs>